tender, tender ray beef, no other beef so fresh, can be so tender, presents Hearts in Harmony transcribed. K is for Kroger, C is for cut, B is for beef. KCB means Kroger cut beef, and Kroger cut beef means more meat for your money. Yes, friends, Kroger cut beef gives you more meat, less waste. And here's why. Before the meat is weighed and priced, the Kroger method of cutting beef removes excess bone, excess waste, and stringy ends. Remember, that's before the meat is weighed and priced. And it's the very top U.S. government grades of beef that's tender, juicy, rich red, and marbled with just the right amount of flavory fat. So you see, you get a better value in top-grade beef. Now, to give you an example, let's take a Kroger cut rib roast. Before the roast is weighed and priced, the Kroger method of cutting beef removes the short rib end, the waist, and trims the chine bone. You don't pay roast price for the short rib end and waist. And no matter whether you buy a Kroger cut steak or roast, you receive more meat, less waste. So don't forget, that's at your Kroger store. See for yourself by visiting your neighborhood Kroger store soon. Make it a rule to buy Kroger cut beef and get more meat for your money. And now, hearts in harmony. Two weeks ago, young Barry Carlton died of injuries received in an automobile accident as he and lovely Penny Gibbs were driving to Heatherton to be married. Penny, her face badly scarred, her sight seemingly failing, is unaware of Barry's death and lately has insisted on seeing him. This afternoon, Nurse Angela Brill is in Penny's hospital room and says... You seem especially cheerful this afternoon, Miss Gibbs. Oh, I feel a lot stronger, Angela. Maybe that's the reason. No, you're getting well. And getting out of here, I hope. Well, not right away. When do you think? I don't know. Remember, I'm just a nurse. (laughs) No, but has, has Dr. Weston said anything to you about my leaving? No, he hasn't. But I imagine he'll talk to you about it before long. You do feel stronger, don't you? Mm-hmm, lot. In fact, I think I'm strong enough to walk down the hall to Barry's room. Oh, no, you're not that strong. And you're not getting out of here again. I'm not. Not without doctor's permission. And you're certainly not going to be allowed to walk down the hall. No, I could have made it to Barry's room if you and Dr. Evans hadn't stopped me. That's what you think. You still had a long way to go and you were weak enough to faint. Admit it now. You almost did faint, didn't you? <laughs> well, you won't tell on me, will you, Angela? You know I won't. Well, do you feel strong enough to have a nice big dinner? Oh, I haven't much of an appetite, but I'll try and eat. The more you eat, the stronger you'll be, and the sooner you'll get out of here. But you know, I'll miss you when you leave, Miss Gibbs. You're the nicest patient I ever had. Is that what you tell them all? <laughs> Heavens, no. I'm glad to be rid of most of them. Oh, well, I miss you too, Angela. No, but I still can't wait to get on my feet again and walk out of here. Before we let you on your feet, Miss Gibbs, we're going to have you sit up in a chair a few hours a day. In fact, Dr. Weston says you may sit in a chair for an hour this afternoon if you'd like to. Oh, I'd love to. Fine. I'll get a chair ready for you, and then I'll help you fix your hair so you look nice for your visitor. Oh, Angela, you've been holding out on me. It's Barry, isn't it? He's coming to see me. No, it's not Mr. Carlton. It's Mr. Keith. Oh, He phoned from Rossville earlier this afternoon and asked if you were allowed to have visitors, and I told him you were. No, I don't want to see him, Angela. You don't want to see him? Why not? Can't you see why not? I can't let Johnny look at this face of mine. Oh, Miss Gibbs, you shouldn't feel that way about it. How would you feel if your face looked like mine? I wouldn't be happy about it, but I'd know that something could be done about the scars and that something was going to be done about them before long. And most of all, I'd know my friends wouldn't care how I looked. Not my real friends. As I understand it, Mr. Keith is definitely one of your real friends. Yes, Angela, he is. I couldn't ask for a better friend, but I can't let him see me this way. But he's coming all the way from Rossville, especially to see... Angela, you shouldn't have let him come, not without speaking to me first. I did what Dr. Weston says is best for you, Miss Gibbs. He wants you to have company. As much of it as you can stand. I don't want company, just a few people. Angela, it isn't fair to let people see me looking as I do. You'll have to tell Johnny I don't want to see him. Tell him I'm sorry, but I can't. Please, Miss Gibbs, for your own sake. Don't feel that those scars on your face make any difference to your friends. They do make a difference. They'll make people feel sorry for me. 
And I don't want anyone feeling sorry for me. Young man, have you forgotten that this is a hospital? Uh Uh-oh. Sorry, nurse, I had forgotten. Uh, I'm Johnny Keith. Oh, yes, I'm Nurse Brill. You've come to see Miss Gibbs, haven't you? Uh Uh-huh. May I go right in? I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Keith, but she won't see you. Won't see me? Well, I should have told you earlier that you were coming down so I could have phoned you and saved you a trip. Well, that's all right, but why won't she see me? What's wrong? She's sensitive about her face, Mr. Keith, and the scars are rather bad. Well, that's silly. Well, she ought to know the scars on her face don't make any difference to me. I tried to tell her that, but it didn't do any good. I see. Well, did, did she uh, refuse? Absolutely. I mean, is there any chance of seeing her? I'm afraid not, Mr. Keith. Well, you'll sneak me in, though, won't you? I would if I could, but I can't. It's not ethical to go against a patient's wishes. At least not in a case like this. Uh, Well, uh... Well, look, is is there any chance of talking to her? By phone, maybe? Why, yes, you may use one of the phones right here if you want. Oh, swell. I'll get her for you. Okay. She uh, shouldn't object to talking to me, should she? Oh, I shouldn't think so. Yes? Uh, 303, please. Just a moment. Don't expect to talk her into seeing you, Mr. Keith. She's quite determined that you won't. Well, I'm going to try anyway. Hello? Uh, Miss Gibbs, this is Angela. Mm Mm-hmm. Mr. Keith is here and wants to talk to you on the phone. Oh. All right. Just a minute. Oh, that patient in 307 wants me again. And for what? To fluff up her pillow. (laughs) Here you are, Mr. Keith. (laughs) Thanks. Hello, Penny. Hello, Johnny. How are you? Well, I was all right until a minute ago, and I found out you won't see me. Well, uh, I'm sorry if you made the long trip for nothing, but I can't see you. Why, Penny? You should know why, Johnny. Because there are a few scars on your face? Mm Mm-hmm. Penny, what kind of friend do you think I am if I'd let that make any difference? Oh, maybe it's just my pride, Johnny. I'm ashamed of the way I look. Ashamed? Well, what's there to be ashamed of? Oh, Johnny, I look so terrible be enough to make you ill just to look at me. Penny, Penny, listen now to me. Now, look, don't try and argue with me, Johnny. I won't see you. Yes, you will, Penny. You will see me. No, I won't. Now, listen to me a minute. And stop saying no and just listen. Now, Penny, I... I know all about the scars on your face. I know how bad they are and how you must feel about them. I know how any beautiful girl would feel about even the slightest injury to her face. But I also know that... Two good friends don't turn away from each other because one of them is suddenly not quite as pleasant to look at as she was. Not pleasant to look at is putting it the right way, Johnny. Penny, I I didn't come here to look at you, but to talk to you and be with you a little while. But you'll have to look at me. Of course I will. I want to. Scars are not your Penny Gibbs. Still the same Penny Gibbs you've always been. Oh, no, no, I'm not, Johnny. Penny, you are. But you won't be if you continue to cut yourself off from your friends because of your face. Penny, believe me, the only way you'll be able to rid yourself of unhappiness over those scars is is to let people see you and find out for yourself how thoroughly those scars are ignored. Penny, the people who love you won't even see them. Oh, Johnny. Johnny, I wish I could believe that. Well, you can, Penny. You have to. And, And you also have to let me see you. You have to let everyone who cares about you see you. And you're going to see me now. No, Johnny, please. Please, Penny, for your own sake, let me prove to you how little it matters what you look like. Now, I'll tell you what. You know me better than I know myself. If your face affects me, you'll be able to tell it by the look in mine. Now, how about it? Oh, let, Now, let, let's make a test, see? And if I'm right, you'll never worry about your face again. Oh, Johnny. Johnny, I'm afraid. Oh, now, where's the old Gibbs spunk, huh? Now, come on, invite me in. Oh, I, I'd, I'd certainly like to, Johnny. You'd like but... to, so you will, huh? I'll say yes. All right, Johnny. For a minute. Yes, well, I'll be right in. Hello, Penny. Because you had your way, aren't you? Uh-uh. I'm happy because I'm seeing you. Well, uh, 
You're not going to be completely happy, Johnny, but... Now, you're not going to keep that pillow against your face. Well, we're both going to forget all about the fact that your face is scarred. Oh, uh, oh, by the way, here's some mail your mother asked me to bring down to you. Thanks. Well, they have you sitting up in a chair. How does it feel? It's nice being out of that bed. Once I'm out of here, I won't want to see a bed again for months. <laughs> what are you going to do, sleep standing up? Oh, I'm sure going to try. Um... Oh, uh, want me to, uh, open your mail for you? No, thanks. I'll read it later. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, get the phone, Johnny, will you? I, I, I don't feel like reading myself over to it. Why, sure thing, lady. Hello. Oh, Mr. Keith. This is Nurse Brill. I was wondering where you were. Oh, it's all right, Nurse. I, uh, I didn't do what you're thinking. I didn't sneak in. I talked her into letting me come up and see her. Oh, I'm awfully glad you did. Is she all right? Oh, yes, yes, fine. Well, don't stay too long. Uh, I won't. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was your nurse, Penny. She... Well, Penny, what's wrong? I, um... I just glanced at this letter while you were on the phone. Johnny. Mm Mm-hmm? You remember when I went to Hollywood two years ago? Well, yes, yes, I certainly do. Well, um... This is a letter from a producer who's just reviewed some of my tests. He has a part for me if I'm interested. Oh. If I'm interested. <laughs> it's very funny, isn't it, Johnny? Look at me. A penny. Look at my face and they want me for a part. Your face isn't bad, Penny, and it's going to be fixed. Uh, gosh, I... I... I'm sorry about that oh, letter. I, I guess your mother didn't realize it. It's all right. There's no reason to be sorry about it. As a matter of fact, this is the first thing I've had to laugh about in weeks. It's um something to laugh about, too, and it? The way things work out. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, guess it is. Yeah. I uh, guess it is. Well, they wouldn't have me when I wanted a part. And now they want me when I can't take it. Well, I guess it's just one of those things. Penny is sitting up and getting stronger every day. Is she strong enough now to be told about Barry Carlton? What will happen when they do tell her? Be sure to listen to the next dramatic episode of Hearts in Harmony. KCB. KCB. KCB means Kroger cut beef, and Kroger cut beef means more meat for your money. Yes, Kroger cut beef gives you more meat, less waste. That's because before the meat is weighed and priced, the Kroger method of cutting beef removes excess bone, excess waste, and stringy ends. You get more meat, less waste in Kroger cut beef. And it's top U.S. government grades of beef, tender, juicy, rich red, and marbled with just the right amount of flavory fat. So visit your neighborhood Kroger store and buy your favorite cut of beef. If you can get a Kroger cut sirloin steak, you'll notice that before the steak is weighed and priced, the Kroger method of cutting beef removes the stringy end, the waste, and the excess bone. Remember, whether you buy a steak or roast, Kroger cut beef gives you more meat for your money. But remember, ladies, you can buy a Kroger cut steak or roast only at Kroger stores. Make up your mind right now to visit your neighborhood Kroger store without delay. Your Kroger meat man has just the cut of beef you want. It's delicious and juicy. It's top-grade beef that will thrill your family. Make it a rule to buy Kroger cut beef and get more meat, less waste, which means you get more meat for your money at your Kroger store. Listen again tomorrow, same time, same station, for another exciting transcribed chapter of Hearts in Harmony.